What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bonnie and this is my channel where I talk about all things lifestyle and DIY. And for today's DIY project, I'm going to attempt to make this little peacock chair out of leftover plywood and scrap wood that I have. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, just keep watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trace out the seat of the chair. So I have no plans that I'm going based off of. I'm kind of just winging it. So I don't know if it's going to be perfect or not, but the seat of the chair, I wanted it to be a rounded tapered shape. If that makes any sense, you can kind of see it from here and it doesn't have to be perfect because I can fine tune it when I sand it. After I have the seat traced out, I'm going to trace out one of the wings for the back of the chair, one of the little pedals, I guess you could say. I used a ruler to mark some straight edges to kind of give me a guideline, and then I created the rounded top, and then I kind of just sketched around it until I felt like it was perfect. And this is what it looks like up close after I have both of these sketched out. Now I'm just going to take my jigsaw and cut out both pieces. After I have one of the backings for the chair cut out, I use that as a template to cut out the other two pieces of the chair. The inspiration for this chair had only two pieces for the back, but I liked the look of three instead because the two looked more like bunny ears to me. And this is kind of exactly how I wanted it to look. I think it looks super adorable and I'm really excited. Now I'm just taking sandpaper and I'm taking all three pieces of the back clamped together to make them even. And this is honestly the best way that I can think of doing this. I did this for some coasters that I made a while back and I just wanted to make these as This is what it looks like after the pocket holes are made. This is going to go on the back side of the chair and you can use the pocket hole plugs if you don't want to see them. 
So I first marked the center of the back of the chair and then I marked the center of the center piece of the back of the chair and I aligned those together and attached it with some wood glue and pocket hole screws. I then played around with the other two pieces to try to get them as exact as I could on each side. For the legs, I did use pocket holes on the back too, but the front two, I had to screw them in directly from the seat and this is what it looks like. But after adding some wood filler, you won't be able to tell. This chair is going to be used outside, so I went ahead and I used some exterior white paint that I already had on hand, just to make sure that it's going to last a little bit longer in the outdoor Hawaii weather.